Well, hello everyone. I'm here with Jill Rob Ackerman. She is the president-elect for the Nebraska Lawyers Foundation. Jill, thank you so much for joining me today. Andrea, thank you for having me. I'm excited about this this morning. Yeah. So as, as I've been talking to so many different um, organizations and nonprofit groups in the community, um, you have an event coming up. But before we get into the Barrister's Ball, which is typically in April, um, right. you're doing it virtually. I really, tell me about the Nebraska Lawyers Foundation and kind of what you are, who you serve, how you contribute back to the community. Okay, the Nebraska Lawyers Foundation has two primary purposes. One is to improve the legal profession, and the second is to provide access to justice. One of our big programs that we have is called the Volunteer Lawyers Program. And this is pro bono, or what we call low bono. We have volunteer lawyers that last year alone assisted over 7,000 people that wow. would not have had legal representation otherwise. You've heard of Legal Aid Society. You understand that the universities have legal clinics, but there's still a large underserved population. So that's one of our big ones. Uh, another one is called the Nebraska Lawyers Assistance Program. And this is because, regretfully, we're in a rather stressful profession. There is, uh, I think nationally, they said about 20% of attorneys have problems with alcohol-related issues or mm -hmm. mental health issues. So this provides a confidential service to them to get assistance, which in turn helps their clients. And yeah. then a third program we have, which is kind of exciting, that serves anyone that's tangentially even related to the legal profession is called the SOLAS program. And that is where we reach out if we have someone who has a severe medical need or an issue where perhaps we've, we've helped people fly people in because they needed medical issues uh, addressed at the university system. Mm -hmm. We've helped people that just needs a little reassurance because of very serious things that have happened in their lives. Yeah. Yeah, because you, yeah, you do a lot, and um, I, I really knew about the, the first one, the second two, not so much, so gosh, such important work, and that's one of the things as we are looking at the Barrister's Ball that is now virtual coming up um, in a week or a little less than two weeks. I guess they already. Yeah. I know, can you believe it? No. Um, I know. Let's talk about that and kind of how, obviously, it's, it's transitioned to a virtual event, but what is the Barrister? Big Barrister's Ball, because this is an annual event for your organization. Well, it is an annual event. We usually have about 500 people at the event. It's a combination of silent auction, live auction, and donations. And these serve, it's our primary fundraiser for mm -hmm. programs that we talked about. Uh, so we have a lot of people that are supported this throughout the community. We have a lot of people that have donated trips, donated items that we can auction off. Uh, that's really what our purpose of our Barrister's Ball is, it's the one time that we usually get all dressed up, we get together, yes. we have a great dinner, we have some food together, have fun. Yeah. Uh, this year, we are going to get together at eight o'clock virtually on August 8th. Yeah, and I will say, I've, I've been to this event many times. I mean, I think the last couple of years, it's been at Embassy Suites La Vista, and before it was down at the Hilton, but yeah, it, it's really that that kind of grand, um, yeah, that grand event where people get together, they dress up, and and you've got your silent auction and oral auction have great food. But like you said, this year, um, August 8th, we're going virtual. So what does that mean? Um, how can people participate? What you need to do is there is you register your phone with Katigo, And I believe that the, the I'll give you the actual registration. It's HTTPS colon backslash backslash nebar 2020 dot home dot q t e g o dot net okay. and if all goes well that's going to be right at the bottom of the screen as we're talking okay great so. great and that will then you register your phone and then you will get the text messages for the silent auction when it begins a little bit sooner than august 8th you also then will get messages to remind you for the evening of august 8th to log in about eight o'clock and then you'll see the live auction but you're also going to see the honorariums that we do there are three big awards, two big awards we give out, and this year we're giving out to four people. And you'll see those folks honored that night too. But you'll get a chance to bid and you'll get a chance to donate that night. So we yeah. really want you to register your phone. Yeah. And I think it starts like on August 3rd, correct? Is that when like it actually officially opens? That's correct. And okay. if you register your phone early, you can actually see the items that are already up and available to bid on. Okay. So let's say we can't get on and we're you know we're on vacation or we're we're doing whatever during the actual event 
how can people support um, the Volunteer Lawyers Project and then the other Nebraska Lawyers Foundation programs? Well, the Nebraska, Law the Volunteer Lawyers Project, we're always looking for individuals to volunteer. This could be at a help desk at one of the courthouses. This could be taking phone calls, assistance on phone, or in-person types of help. Uh, you also could help through the SOLAS program. Those emails go out to all Nebraska lawyers, and it also goes out to some of the related organizations. Okay. Take a little time and assist with that also. And you don't, do you have to be a lawyer? Do you have to be in the, the law profession or just having a willing to contribute? Willing to contribute. Okay. okay. Um, and then again, in the Nebraska Lawyers Foundation programs, um, people, I mean, obviously, financially, I mean, I think most nonprofits are looking at, yes, we would like financial funds, but there's other ways to give back as well, like you just said. So, Correct. And this year, one of the things that we've helped, we've had, regretfully, two big 100-year events. Last year, we helped a lot of people that were affected by the catastrophic flood. Oh, my goodness. Yes. We helped a lot of people with the issues arising out of the pandemic. Yeah. And can you talk a little bit about what those issues are, um, what you're dealing with now? Uh, with some of these issues now, it can be things of, uh, such as assistance with uh, working out financial issues. We yep. directing them to correct sources on that. That's some of the issues we've had. Issues with how our lawyers deal with working virtually now. We yeah. provide much guidance to many lawyers on how to get up and be operating. And we want you to know that the lawyers in Nebraska are working and they're operating yes. now, even in the pandemic. Yes, I know many of them and I know they're working hard because I mean, life doesn't stop. I mean, legal issues don't stop or, or needing just whatever that, I mean, a lawyer that you would need a lawyer for. My dad just passed away and, and we just got done closing his estate. So, I mean, there's just all these things that don't, you know, they don't take a break. You have to move on with that. So Correct. the legal needs did not stop with this pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so many other things. So, um, well, Jill, I want to thank you so much for coming on. And um, outside of the website, is there, is there a Nebraska Lawyers Foundation website that people can visit? If you go on the Nebraska Bar Association okay. website, you can be connected then to the Nebraska Bar okay. Foundation website. Okay. Well, I just want to thank you so much for coming on. And I encourage everybody to, yeah, register your phone number, um, support this organization. Starts August 3rd. The actual uh, kind of live event, so to speak, is on the 8th of August. And we hope you raise lots of money and continue your good work. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Andrea. Yeah.